Hi, I'm Alex Kittle, the uh, Collections Manager here at the Delaware Museum of Natural History. I'm also an invertebrate paleontologist, uh, so I study fossils, and fossils are basically any evidence of life on ancient Earth. Basically, the uh, cutoff word is just to be older than 10,000 years old. Fossils can be any trace or evidence of life that, that has existed in the past. Uh, it could be a body fossil. Usually it's the hardest part of the animal that gets preserved, uh, like things like teeth or, um, or bone material. But it could also be uh, tracks or footprints or things like that. Okay, so this story right here uh, contains fossils that were discovered along the uh, CND Canal in Delaware. Probably one of the most common fossils that you find down at the canal is something called a bolemnite. Um, this is actually a, a was part of an ancient squid-like creature. So this is an actually a case where you have like a clam-like creature or a, a an oyster or something like that, where the mud filled in the side of the shell. Uh, and the shell material is actually dissolved away. So you're just left with a cast of what the inside of the fossil looked like. But then you also may have actual fossil uh, body fossils. So in this case, uh, clams are made out of calcite. Again, that's that, that mineral, the same mineral that the, uh, the bolemnites are made of. This is a, a, a evidence of a trace fossil. So this is um, a, a case where we don't have the actual animal left behind, uh, but you have an evidence of the animal. So these are burrows that were made by ghost shrimp. But in the case of the ghost shrimp, we actually have uh, preservation of their claws. So this is a, a ghost shrimp uh, a pincer. So in this drawer, we actually have a lot of um, fossilized wood, which is one of the most common plant fossils you can find in Delaware. What we're looking at is actually fossilized wood, uh, probably from a tree called Taxodium, which is a uh, relative of the cypress tree. Um, so think of uh, cypresses that occurred downstate uh, during the t time of the dinosaurs. That was probably one of the most prevalent uh, trees in the area. The museum also has a large collection of Florida fossils. Uh, basically the Florida platform is nothing but layer upon layer and layer of uh, invertebrate fossils just about. Uh, these are the Florida horse conch, uh, Triplophusus giganteus. Uh, this is a modern day example from Florida. And then these are the three million year old fossils from Florida um, of the same, uh, same species. So you see that they haven't changed much in their shell shape over that time. 